<coughs> hey guys, welcome to another Minecraft video of the um, Powercraft mod as we are demonstrating the awesomeness of this mod here. I <laughs> um, ignore that for now. So, well, we are still on the making of the entire process of putting everything where it should be and the lever part of where everything should be going. So we are going to now transport ourselves over here because I was not over here. <coughs> so we're gonna make it, uh, uh, I guess you can do this, but I'm just gonna make it so I have blocks like this. So I'm gonna make it so the lever is right there for me. That's my lever. That's my lever to open, the put those blocks all the way over here and you to here. All we need to do with this is get me one of these, get me one of these here, and all we need is a teleporter, sender, se um, set it to only items, put it at sequence, I don't know, three, please don't send it somewhere, please, oh shit, oh, I want sequence three. So I gotta set the four, or else I'll set it through there. Alright, so this one's gonna be sender five. Okay, and then we're gonna have a receiver thing here. Target five. Target four. Now all we need is one of these. One of these guys. One of these guys. Show any item that lands there will be teleported into this chest. So give me that. Ew. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. So we're gonna use the same concept, I just gotta change where mine is ending. Okay, so sender five set. Oh, only oh, have a send. Oh, oh. Okay, sorry, my dogs are barking, but there we go. Those are set up, so the lever doesn't work yet, though, uh, because of the thing. Yet, yeah, hold on. Okay, so we have the sender thing here. With Requin 6, I believe. And what we got to do here is have a. Uh, I'm not sure. I think you can have it right next to it, but yes, you can. So we're going to set this one to 6. And this one to 6. Just to save me time. So I don't have to place anything extra. And, um. So now when I pull this lever few more times. It should be completely in uh oh did I fail at this or something. Four four why are my ink sacks not coming? Six, six, five, five, um, what? what? Um, how? Huh? This to me is not making any sense. Just, why is that flickering this? You're on six. Oh, god damn it, it's gonna be on seven. Okay, there we go. That's why. Okay. You always gotta remember what number you're on. At least if you're doing numbers like me. Okay, so now it should work. Oh. 
Hold on, why are they so far? Uh oh. So this should be on. Both of those should be on. Come here, ink sacks. Why are you not going through your teleporter? Oh, my bad. That would explain a little more. Okay. Not sure this. There we go. It finally got to work. Wow. That took me some time to figure that out. <laughs> One side. I have to keep it all organized even though. It's not like it's going to do much. Okay, so that is the entire setting of the entire thing of setting this up, setting up the little transportation, making so it all work. So since this is a Powercraft tutorial thing, I'm also going to throw in something real quick, real simple, shouldn't take more than a few seconds. So all we're going to do here real quick is we're going to do what I was doing over there, but I kind of failed, so 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay. Destroy the middle. I don't like the middle of this. Okay, done. Alright, now we're just gonna fill this up with cobblestone as quickly as possible because I want to get through this as fast as possible. Just so I can show you guys what I'm doing, how I'm doing this. So what I did, did here is made, I'm gonna make a um, 7x7x3. Seven by seven by so you have a space to jump here, so be one, two, three, and then if I put one there, I can't jump. But if I put one here, that's how much space we'll have on the roof. So, put one, two, just fill this up. I don't care. Alright, just gonna quickly fill this all up. I hate working in places where there's a bunch of grass. Something terrible at creative mode. You destroy everything. You hit. Okay. Just make this real quick, real fast, real simple. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm doing this. Now, if you have any, uh, you get mob spawners right away. You get mob spawners like this, where it gives you certain mob spawners, but you have to be on like easy and hard to deploy them. But that's alright. I don't really care much. I'm just going to make this seem a little more right oh no, I need up one more thing. Alright. But if you're using too many items or you're using creative mode, I suggest just trying to find one. I'm just making this is actually a mob spawner room without the chest. I'm just making one just so I can uh -oh. Just so I can simply show you guys what I am trying to talk about here, what I'm trying to accomplish, what you can do with this certain item that I'm going to be showing you. Okay, so destroy these two blocks here if you made one, or just destroy those two blocks. We're just going to put a zombie in the middle, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom, that's the middle. Boom, we don't need you anymore. So now the hole gone. You now I need a roaster. And a laser. Uh oh. I am not on easy, so we're gonna put it on the peaceful. Do that, do that. Now we need a bunch of coal just to put in here. And I'm sure you're wondering what the hell am I gonna do with one of these? Well, all you need is a simple pressure plate, redstone, tons and tons of goody redstone. Alright, we need redstone repeaters too. Or we need boom boom. Okay. Huh. Okay. With that, like, that, um. I'll actually leave it like that. But then, that'll come there, that'll come there, that'll come there, that'll come there, that'll come there. So when anything ever tries to come out, 
they will get injured by my trap here. I'm just gonna use like a little more room here. Okay. I'm just gonna box this up here. I'm just gonna make it so you can get at me, but you can't kill me because of this lovely idea this person who made the mod made. I'm not sure why he made this, but he made this just so you can probably make an awesome killing machine. I'm just gonna get a simple iron door and a lever. I'm just gonna place it right there, just try my way in just so I can quickly get in. That's in the wrong spot, but I just need some simple cobblestone. You put it in the right spot. Now that's working. I put that there. Now I'm sure you're wondering, but how is this going to work? But look at this. This is a hot red laser. This is not something you normally would normally have. But now I'm also I'm going to show you the experience storage unit. This is the most advanced thing I've ever seen. It's pretty high tech. The storage is empty. You have no experience to deposit. So I'm going to be cheater walk across that in creative mode. Now I'm going to put it on hard, so it's fairly dark. It's midnight, so we're just going to let some zombies spawn. Probably should make some kind of device right here so I can flip a switch and the zombie spawns. You probably do this with a creeper too. It's just when you do this, I would suggest making a backup way that you can only access through here. So here we go. Here's a zombie. Boom. He has been killed. Um, a uh, little bug in our system here. Um, uh oh. Okay, there we go. I think it's because it's really close. So what I what I have this here for though is just to gather the experience. Oh crap! Well, that just shows you the power of that laser. So I'm gonna fly over there. Zoom. There's the original. There's the one I made. That's very easy to use. So get a great move. Land on the ground. Take a hour and a half. Uh oh. I uh, this stuff out. There we go. Huh. Keep failing through. Alright, so we obviously have a tons of zombies and mobs that want to try and make their way home. So obviously, if you have one of these, and you want to take your time and gather and stuff, you can probably just let it run, let it kill everything. But all the experience you can... All the experience I know is supposed to go in there. I'm not sure why it's not going in there, but there we go. There's a whole bunch of round flash. You probably could put a chest in here too. And then like stash it right there and you could just throw on everything you get. Oh. I would not suggest using this though on anything but using creative mode. Unless you're like me or something. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a little back way into this place. You can only access it through having the thing here because it's a roof access. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use more power craft technology to get the rod and flesh. I'm going to make a way out, but you have to pull a lever, which is why I'm going to be calling it a one way out for them. Or a no way out for them and a like multiple in out kind of thing for me so we're gonna place that there we need one that goes up doesn't really matter how many you have so, um that we need, I'll take a conveyor belt so we're gonna have a little secret room here it's just gonna drag me across place me here which will then drag me up onto the ceiling, drag me here, but I'm actually going to make it like this, and then we're going to have like the down part right here, so then I drop in, they'd probably be all killed by now, 